Hey friends, this is Pat from Rain Country Homestead. Oh, Rain Country. And today uh, I am being pushed by myself to um, work on a project that I've been procrastinating on for a little while. Um, bought a rebuild kit for my uh, uh, hydraulic pump for the backhoe. And it's been slowly leaking around the seal. And so I really should get, get to changing that out. The weather's nice to where I can work outside. So this is what I have to work on. And if this is, this is for a um, Case 580 Super Re Construction King backhoe. Um, it's got a little diesel motor in it. And this is the blow up parts list for for the hydraulic pump. I don't have a a maintenance manual. Act now, actually, I do have a maintenance manual. It's a digital format. But um, this seems <laughs> self-explanatory. If I just put all the parts back on uh, together the same way that the picture shows. Um, theoretically, I should be in good shape. Um, the part that is highlighted in yellow is the drive shaft seal, and I think that's what's leaking on it. I don't see anything leaking around it, so um, I figure if I'm going to take take this completely out of this out of out of the machine, well, if you get if you're down that far and you've got that seal that's uh, leaking well i wonder what the wear plates and all the different seals and and uh wearable parts in there are also haywire or uh not necessarily uh haywire but maybe maybe going bad this little guy i believe is is the culprit well this is a 1987 case and so um, it is high time that it gets rebuilt. So we've got all these different little little parts. Uh, quite a few of them are redundant. So it looks like we have three different types of seals. And we have some wear plates. Looks like we have four different wear plates that go in there. These all look the same, but I'll study these really close and make sure that they are all the same so we don't mess anything up because I'm having a feeling that this might be kind of interesting to take apart. These ones here are the backup seal. These are called preload seals. These are ring seals. Um, and of course these are wear plates and of course this is the uh, uh, drive shaft seal is that right drive shaft seal correct so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys set up over here at the machine and I'll start taking things <laughs> I've only had this up here uh, just to look inside of the in, inside of here because the pump's back in here. I want to identify what the pump looked like, identify where the leak was coming from. Uh, so I've been in here before, but I've never never rebuilt one of these before. So this is going to be a new experience for both of us. Well, maybe not for you if you've already done this, but if you haven't, hopefully this might help you out. We can learn together if that's the case. Okay, guys, there's the hydraulic pump. This guy right here. So, uh, in the past when I've worked on stuff on a hydraulic, you know, like a replacing hydraulic hoses that broke on this before and whatnot, you want to relax the, uh, the hydraulics in this. So there's no pressure on the inlet side or the outlet side. So that kind of helps prevent 
um, fluid be, uh, you know, spray in your face or, or leak all over the ground. So I'll get a drip pan and put underneath here. I'll relax the hydraulics. Um, I have the bucket elevated here and in there on most of your machines if not all of them especially the the newer kind the there's always this um, piece right here you pull this pin raise this up it pins into place right here and this when you pull that pin from right in the uh, from this hole here mm -hmm. you drop this down this will act as a safety in case in case that cylinder fails and this relax all the hydraulics I might not even had to do this back in here I'm not sure but just for just for safety's sake I'm just gonna I'll exercise all these just like I did I got these two uh, bolts that hold this uh, kind of like a flange on this um, hydraulic pump here. long one goes on the left hand side and the short one goes on the right hand side I got a sharpie here I can I can label it as a long short okay here we go of all this it's definitely got some dust going on here and you can look down here and see where it's been leaking okay here we are on a workbench this is the bottom of the pump here you can see where this has been leaking uh, around that seal leaking down into you know the casing and whatnot and then off down onto the ground i had to get this thing changed out here so i'm gonna get to cleaning this thing up i think it's that seal i think that's the only thing that's wrong with the with it however um if i've got this thing completely out of the uh, machine it might be a good idea just to go ahead and clean the whole booger up. Okay, I just got done sanitizing the uh, little hydraulic pump here as best I can. Um, I don't think there would be anything worse than replacing a seal in there and missing a bunch of sand and a bunch of dirt and and then all of a sudden it uh, starts leaking again because I didn't didn't get all the dirt and sand off it so I took some solvent and bathed it a little bit in this wash tub here and uh, went ahead and got it got all the uh, old dust and dirt and hydraulic fluid off of here and I'll let this dry out a little like I say I don't do the I've never this is the first time I've 
taken this apart and so I want to make sure when I put it back together it's all put together correctly now this seal it looks like it's a standard a standard size seal it's a uh, looks like a Chicago rawhide CR stands for Chicago rawhide and it's a nine eight seven eight actually I'm gonna write it down here where it's close to the seal and I'll keep this with my uh, parts breakdown so in the future if I ever need that seal again I'll know exactly which one to buy and I can, I can just go ahead and buy that seal and not replace the wear wear assembly on this so that's gonna be a CR nine eight seven eight it doesn't show these four bolts here being removed however I wouldn't be surprised if they would so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these two longer ones that's these these guys right here and see if I can get this apart Okay, my video got full and Heidi un downloaded the uh, data off of there. And while she was doing that, I removed that seal and uh, replaced the seal. Cleaned it all up on the other side, uh, on this outer outer piece here where the shaft, the this outlet shaft goes through here. That's kind of galled up a little bit. And that's probably why the old seal was leaking. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back together again. And see if that uh, leak stops. I hope it, hope, it, hope it works. At least for a little while. But um, the old seal I just, I just peeled out of there. To make these go in easy... Uh, what a guy can do is put a little bit of 90 weight oil on there or hydraulic fluid or whatever to make it slide in. And the way I uh, put that in there, oops, I got to clean all that back up again, is I found a socket the same size as the seal diameter. And I was able to just lightly tap this in even all the way around down to where it uh, is supposed to seat and that works pretty good if you're really careful now on this side we have these seals here there's a black seal I already got that set in there I don't want to pull that back out again and then there's this other seal that goes on here and that goes in there just like so and then I marked that little post making sure I put everything the same way it came out and I'll set this aside and I got this piece here to take apart okay I took and cleaned this all up there's that little black rubber seal that goes around there well that didn't come none of those didn't come with my kit so I'm a little surprised that because uh, I asked I got that on eBay and the guy says uh, yeah it's the complete kit and so usually when you replace those uh, replace seals or replace all of them so I'm gonna do the major sin here and use this seal again It's rubber, it's not plastic or Teflon, so looks like it's retained its shape, 
bet there's probably some of you out there is probably no you can't do that no you can't do that well that's what I got so that's what I'm going to use again one thing's for sure it can't leak any worse than what it did when I took it apart Okay, we got this all together. We got it torqued down to 31 foot pounds, and uh, the book tells you to be able to turn be able to turn this with a reasonable amount of force. Not sure really what that means, but um, we got all of our uh, arrows lined up, all the parts one, two, three, four, five part five five of the different um, sections of this all put together correctly um, get all my splines lined up everything works that turns um, with a reasonable amount of force uh, <laughs> it turns uh, takes a little bit of pressure to turn that at any rate uh, there it is and I also what I did is got a um, uh, a belt to go ahead and replace on the uh, machine it's showing signs of age so I went ahead and picked up or ordered up another another belt to put on there so now you'd have to remove the hydraulic pump out of here the shaft and everything to get the belt off so the belt has to come off um, looks like it has to I have to bend it and get it around around the crankshaft it looks like on the back side you know we got the tensioner we have the alternator or generator this tensioner so I have to get it around the, the fan shroud here but the belt it looks pretty bad it's starting to sh uh, show uh, cracks and stuff like that in there so I figure I might as well change this out while I got the while I got the uh, hydraulic pump out. Okay, if you see, if I bend this back a little bit, there's a lot of oh, it's dry rot or cracking on the inside of that belt. So I don't think it's a bad idea to change that out. Eight PK one five nine zero. And there's another number on here. Zero four zero one six three eight B. I'm not sure how much of this uh, assembly you guys have been able to witness. Uh, I looked over and seen my phone was shut off so uh the video i had on there i'm not sure how much i i, I got and how much uh he's able to see but um what i've done so far is the bolts that i had labeled long and short um they actually worked better reversing those two those two mounting bolts is on the flange back here um i switched those around and they were a lot easier to get in and out so um, I think somebody's had this in, uh, so, uh, somebody's had this out of here before, uh, and had, uh, maybe lost one of the bolts and put, because these bolts are different. I've inspected this, and, and there's no reason why they shouldn't have had the same bolts, same, same, same length bolts in here. So, I think that's the original bolt there. I think this is a bolt here that they... Um, 
had found or you know stuck in there because maybe they lost one so at any rate I uh, switched those around it fits together better I got the splines all lined up in here I've got these tightened I got these two bolts tightened down and so now um, I have this little mess here to contend with doesn't look like there's any leaks on the uh, hydraulic pump so I'm gonna go ahead and button the front of this uh, machine up here got the grill and guard to put back on the front of this put a little bit of anti-seize on the bolts so they don't they're not so hard to get off next time if I have another problem last few years to come. Um, I'm glad I went ahead and replaced that belt and I'm glad I replaced all the wearable parts inside the hydraulic pump. Um, probably down a couple of gallons of hydraulic fluid so I'm gonna have to replace that and so anyway thanks for watching.